You still smell like catnip. Should I rub my face on? <laughs> hey, Naomi. We just have a few additional questions about the missing dogs. You came at the perfect time. I just burned some sage and got all the bad energy out of here. I thought I'd smell something burnt in here. It seems like there are a few more people who think you know more about the missing dogs. What do you mean? Like maybe you took them? I would never take any fur babies. I love them. You took your neighbor's bird. That bird I rescued because it was sitting outside in the sun, all alone, terribly neglected, sweating bullets. I had to save it. And you let our guinea pig in our classroom escape. How do you know all of this? We've been talking to a lot of people. Well, you know what? They can say whatever they want. I know deep down in my heart that those animals wanted to be liberated. Well, maybe you liberated the missing dogs from their owners. Oh, I feel the bad energy coming back. Well, we talked to some of the owners and I can see why you feel the need to, to rescue some of them. It wasn't me. Listen, Naomi, we need you to help us. I didn't take any dogs, okay? Do you know this guy? Oh yeah, it looks like this guy named Carl who stops by a lot. Yeah. Why does he stop by so much? Oh, he finds a lot of dogs. He's an animal lover, just like me. Has he done anything suspicious? You know, some of the dogs in the photos look like the ones that are missing, but I don't think they're the same ones. Why not? Because Carl told me so and I believe him. <laughs> You'd be surprised what good liars people can be. Carl is so nice, you don't even know him. He would never lie to me. <laughs> right? Well, thank you, Naomi. Naomi is pretty wacky, but I don't think she's bad. I think she's telling the truth about not knowing anything about the missing dogs. <laughs>